to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds in the... Ten rounds slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. A little something of his own. Blocks the shot, brings back the uppercut. Yeah. Teddy, I assume many times in your career, you were instructing a fighter that was going to face a fighter who just had the longer reach, flat out had it. What did you tell him? What did you try to cement in his head leading up to that fight? You know, sometimes you get caught up when you're fighting a fighter oh, with those great, one. outstanding physical attributes like tallness and height, reach advantage, you start to think that only one way is the way to go. You got to force yourself to work your way in. I remind myself and I remind my fighter that you can step out and make the taller man give up his height. Walk him into traps. Good block by Lewis. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Iceman. Halfway through round number one. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Nice block by Iceman. He just smashed him with that power punch. That'll teach him to be aggressive with a tall fighter. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Iceman's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. This round comes to an end, and Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. To the head he goes with a left hand. Iceman's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Don't let him get to you, kid. Targeting that overhand left. Halfway through round number two. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Little head hunting with the left. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Iceman. How about that left hand? Good flush shot by left hook. Final ten seconds. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational end for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bit. He's confident. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Come on, keep 
he is made of getting up off the canvas after being knocked down he's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching well the old times used to say when you calm in there when you're controlling there you can make him do what you want he made him tie his shoelaces right there coming to the halfway point of this third round with that uppercut. Big shot by Lewis. Now hugging on the inside. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Big shot. The left crashed home. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a metaphor for life. You know, sometimes you have somebody outside and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink. A little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their mind. Sometimes a fight is no different. You know, he gets hurt. And now all of a sudden, all his inhibitions are gone. And now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything except the things he should have been thinking about. It's automatic. Round number four is underway. A chance for us to look at Teddy's scorecard. And obviously, the round to circle there, you see the knockdown. And that's how professional boxing is supposed to be. The guy who lands the cleaner, more effective punches, he gets an advantage. He gets an extra score. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Good right hand. Now he ties up there. <laughs> Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Left hook stunned by a big shot. Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. Takes one, but gives one. Big left hand. You got him. Able to cut down that ring and just push his opponent against the ropes. One, two. One, two. was not well targeted by Lewis. Left hooks banged by a left hand. And that's the end of round four. Don't worry. Lewis is down on your scorecard. I snuck a peek at your scorecard. He's down on your scorecard. But it's still a close and competitive fight, a fight that he's very much alive in. Yeah, he is, but he's got to go about it like the fight is up for grabs. He can't start saying, hey, you know, I think I'm a little bit ahead, because that's a good way of getting... Left hooks hit by a right hand. <laughs> Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. You see him holding on. You got this one. No, right now. More punch, baby. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Iceman's jab is now carrying this fight for him from the outside. Yeah, because the jab is carrying the fight. You know, it all starts with that jab. And right now, that jab is leading the way. Good work defensively by left hook. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he threw it out of him. 
and then he timed them beautifully. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Halfway into round number five here. And he comes right back with a headshot. Now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Keep those hands up, baby. Keep those hands up. Back to the body. Good fighting, snapping shot by Iceman. Lewis is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. And clicks of the top. Good. Here we are getting ready for the second half of this fight as we've reached the sixth round. Come on, come on. He goes to the gut with the right hand. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Nice strike after catching one. Bump. Lewis is scored upon by a left hand. Oh! And for the second time tonight, he goes down. is able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move, because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Able to lock in that target and bring it home well. One or two more of those, it'll be the end of the night. Now, this is a good game plan here. As you can see in these later rounds, the body is being targeted by Iceman. And it's going to pay off for him down the stretch where he's going to find the head a little easier. Stay away from those. Come on. Iceman's left landing well. Plus shot lands after blocking away his opponent's effort. Left hook's able to avoid that punch. Jump on him, jump on him right now. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. And it's round okay, six man. comes okay, to an end. Right Left hook's corner has quite a task in front of them now. Their fighter's eye swollen shut. Right now, you have to come up with some strategy. Maybe he turns Watch his stance hook. around, where he leads now with the good eye. You know, right now, the good eye is back a little bit where he can't pick up things. Maybe now he needs to change his position in the ring, where at least his good eye is in front. Keep working, Lewis is trying to get back in this round after being knocked down in the last round. But with just 60 seconds between rounds, Teddy, how much can really happen? How much can really benefit a fighter who was knocked down? Well, a lot. Big shot. That was a big shot that floored him. And it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Lewis is getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. Halfway through the seventh round. To the belt line he goes with a left hand. Lewis!
Lewis has got to feel that right there. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. Lewis is going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand, a real solid shot. Yeah, good one. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Lewis is not the kind of guy that's gonna float like a butterfly at all. He's more like an elephant, just camped out. And he's getting stung by a lot of bees right now for camping out. As we begin round number eight here, it's clear cut who's got the lead. He's been up since the opening bell on your scorecard, Teddy. Well, look, I don't like to knock or in any way make fun of any fight. Anybody who can climb up those steps, get in the ring, they're a special person. But somebody needs to tell him it's okay to move your head once in a while. Took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. And now he scores with that left to the body. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. A little head hunting with the right. Ice fans' head movement is really a factor in this fight. I mean, who would have thought it? Just one of the aspects of defense could be such a big key to this fight right now. Yeah, it is, and his opponent right now is not making a adjustment. Lewis is almost out of it. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Can you believe that? What a huge punch. You couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. It's over. This fight is over. Iceman's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. That's what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.